Okay, hi everybody at home. Chi Breaks is online. Next time we're gonna do it live too. It'd be for real fun. So let's start with 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 tapping, with self-tapping. So let's start with the with with here. Let's start with the kidney and just with the knuckle, with the fist, and we're not gonna close the fist and knock on the lower back. Now close your eyes and try to breathe into this area as you're tapping and go up and down like the last rib cage and down to where the sacrum starts. So go up and down and try to breathe. Yeah, close your eyes and try to uh, send the breath there. So tapping on the kidney, starting with the lower back. The vitality center is the lower back, the kidney energy. And with the open palm, let's tap on it and then go down on the outside of the legs. And then up, up in the inside of the legs. Yeah, so kidney down the outside of the legs. Up the inside of the legs. One more time. A few more times. Tap strongly. And then one leg at a time with both hands up and down. And the other hand. And with the fist, tap on the quads, the leg gates. Hey, Courtney's here. <laughs> Courtney's here. <laughs> All right. <laughs> tap on the quads, the leg gates. It's just this crease right here. The main artery that sends energy, big artery here, send energy to the legs. Feel it right here. If you have a cold feet, problem with cold feet, knees, ankles, the quads are opening the energy into the legs. It's called the leg gates, the quads. And let's put the hands on the quads and feel the energy in the legs. So tapping is a way to break up from the fascia to break up energy we take from outside, yeah? We call it acquired chi acquired energy we take from other people, from the day, for our emotions, and it's being held in the meridian lines, yeah, in the fascia. Tapping is a way of cleansing and clearing the energy. And let's, uh, let's go into another cleansing and clearing practice. We kind of, I don't know if we did that before, but we raise the hands and then just drop them on the exhalation really drop them like you're not holding anything inhale and then exhale drop yes so remember that drop and now we're going to do it with a twist with a twist and a squat so it's going to be you squat you twist the hips i'm going to do slow motion and then you straighten the arms and look to one side yes yeah, so it's going to be like this exhale Relax the shoulders and exhale from the mouth. Inhale, exhale, drop the hands and straighten the legs. So it's a bend and a straighten. And look into one side. And it's like you have an imaginary window here and you're throwing the energy out the window. So here it is, inhale, and then just relax the whole upper body. Relax the arm, let the gravity pull them down. And then throwing anything that stresses us, whatever in the week, or maybe last week, whatever, any concern from the mind, bring it to, your, to the forefront of your experience and let it go, throw it out. 
So whatever energy drop, drop the arm and bounce. Exhale from the mouth, I don't hear it. <laughs> Let me hear it. Yes, yes, exactly. Inhale, exhale, together. Inhale, exhale, yes, yeah. So when you exhale from the mouth, the body heats, heats up more, you notice. Drop the hands, drop the shoulders. Scatter the, scatter the chi, we call it scattering chi practice. And relax. And close your eyes, feel the body. Feel the energy. Open the eyes. Does everybody, I'm with your, my back to you, so does everybody understand how it moves, this movement, yeah? How it goes? It's like a bend, twist, and a straighten. And then when you straighten, the arms naturally go up, yeah? That's cl that was clear? Okay. And let's go into just a little bit wider stand, a little wider than the shoulder. <coughs> then we stay centered, and we're gonna go inhale, Yeah, so you feel the lower back already. Yeah, you lift the rib cage and there's a little bit of a twist like that. And then exhale. Even without moving the spine first. Inhale, head up. Yeah, you lift the shoulder, the rib cage here. And you feel like the rib cage is peeling away from the hip. And then exhale. the whole spine also bend inhale and exhale in relax the head exhale. and again See if you can connect with each and every section of the spine. See that every segment of the spine is kind of giving way to gravity. Exhale. Now inhale. Lift the rib cage up. Word. Yeah, and find this. Yeah, you almost want to find first. When the, you up this hand come up, you lift it up, the rib cage come up. Yes. And exhale. Inhale peace and love into the spine, the side of the spine. Relax the head. hold a volleyball size ball here and then as you exhale you go sideways and let the whole spine give way to gravity the knees are slightly bent and then slowly come up so as you exhale you go sideways and you give way to gravity and see how far can you go Holding a volleyball sized ball. Feeling the kidney area open, the lower back. And from that area you come up. Come up from that area. Yeah, it's kind of a little hard. Yeah, exhale. Kidney, feel it's stretched and open. Give way to gravity. And from here lift up. 
and then we're gonna go full rotation. So we're gonna go exhale side posture. And then when you cannot go sideways anymore, you start to forward fold, slowly feeling the lower back open, keeping the knees slightly bent, not locked, and then coming out the other side into a side posture, close to the floor as possible, and up. The knees are always slightly bent, yeah? So let's go the other direction. Exhale, first side bend. See what you can do. And then slowly rotate, feeling the lower back open. And coming up the other side. And exhale down. How's that? Nice. Feel the lower back? Yeah, how it opens like that? Yeah. So the next one is a medical Qigong practice. You hold Lao uh, L1, <coughs> L1, and then you inhale. L1, right here, the lung point, is when Qi releases from the body like toxins, right? So we hold it here. There's an indentation right here. Yeah, so we hold it here. And we inhale, exhale from the mouth. Inhale, open the lungs and the heart. Exhale. Inhale, open lung one. Yes, and squat. Inhale. One foot back. In. In. So the hips, yeah? In. In the other direction. Inhale. So here you inhale into the back of the rib cage. So this movement. You just do like this, right here. That's the inhalation. You can put your hand here. You feel you can move the rib cage with your breath. Yeah, inhale, exhale. This is all immune system points. Inhale, inhale. And let's switch to the other side. First of all, inhale. So inhale into the side of the rib cage. Exhale. We exhale from the mouth here while kind of holding lung one point. And then shift. Inhale. Yeah, this is an elbow kick in martial art, yeah? You move from the hips, inhale, and exhale. Yeah, you kick, yeah. Nice. Uh, let's open the, let's work with the legs a little bit. So open the stance a little wider. to Gong Bu. Bu is a stand in Chinese. Bu. Just like that. Bu. But 
Gongbu Bostan. Gongbu. We have Gongbu. We have Pubu, which is a drop stand. What Chris is doing, and then we have uh, we have many stands. We have Ma Mabu, which is a horse stand. Right. We have all these stands. They're from like Wushu. Nice, and let's do the kidney energy flow. We did it yesterday, let's do it again. So, we're opening a bigger stand. And this movement, that we're gonna shift the weight like that. <coughs> so we're gonna start by scooping, flipping, looking at the back of the hand, shifting the weight. Scooping up water, and the water comes up, it flows into the shoulder, into the other shoulder, and into the opposite arm to nourish the kidney that you touch with the back of your hand. So the visualization on this one is inhale bring just think about a water source that is beautiful and radiant like a hot spring a clear water yeah. maybe a beautiful place in the Caribbean I don't know <laughs> yeah and then you just flow and then the upper body and the lower body are connected yeah the energy always move from the lower back and like we talked about this Kind of like a delay like movement with the upper body. So scoop this warm water to nourish the kidney. And this movement is kind of meditative, yeah, very relaxed. Inhale down and exhale up. the kidney visualize it's penetrating and all this hot spring this beautiful warm water flowing in the kidneys feeling abundance feeling the other arm and let's shift direction the water penetrate the kidney and feel vitality smile into the kidneys and kidneys in Chinese medicine is a battery is the we call it the youthful energy when the kidney is strong just connecting with longevity and youthfulness like we call the fountain of youth the fountain uh, uh, it, it is like a water yeah fountain is water and let's relax nice so these two points are one is pericardium six pericardium is the sac that protect the heart and it's three fingers from the crease of the wrist between the two tendons 
and then the other one is the triple warmer 5. So one is for internal energy, the other one is for external energy. Here is for managing your own energy, the other one is for not taking in other energy from other people. And let's, let's bang them together, would we'll relax the wrist. You can do with the palm facing you or the palm face down. Doesn't matter, but the wrist should be relaxed. And then activate these points, these four points. And let's here bring the energy to the Dantian in front of the navel. And this chi ball. And open and close. the energy between the palms so when you open the palms the whole body opens up to become bigger than this room bigger than this world bigger than the city connecting to the white light dissolve any illness any tension and then as you exhale you bring the energy back to the physical body so when you inhale you release the energy you connect with the Han Yuan Chi source energy the ultimate nourishment and bring it on the exhale project like project the Han Yuan Chi nourishment energy deep into the body and the bones inhale open the bones open the body the whole energy system Feel like you're bathing in a big ocean of chi. And then as you bring the chi back, you project this white light deep into the organs, cells, and bones. Let's bring the feet together and put the hands on the dantian. And just feel the whole body here. Relaxing the shoulders. Feeling the hands, warm hands on the Dantian, emitting the Chi into the Dantian. And feel the connection between the navel and the spine. Yeah, I just shared it yesterday, the, the connection between the navel and the spine, the opposite, pass, the opposite point on the spine behind the navel, it's called the Ming Men, the of life. The connection between the two and the ability to combine them mentally is connected in Taoism to immortality. As a practices for meditation, strong practices is a connecting the two points until you actually feel that they are bound, that it's one point. So see if you can kind of see these two points in your mind on this line, this imaginary line. Let's open the hands to the side, palm facing the front, opening the eyes. Hmm, thank you guys. For more Chi Breaks and to subscribe, visit chibreaks.chiwithelly.com. Thanks for watching.